Right, further mass mechanics. Last question on the paper. Um, bleak collisions, two walls, but it gives the uh, the position of this wall as a as a vector rather than in angles. Um, so we've got a ball bouncing. Here's the wall. Goes off here. Uh, tells you the initial velocity uh, of B, uh, and then it bounces off here and hits ST. And uh, we've got to uh, show find the full range of E, um, which is the coefficient of restitution uh, for RS. Now E needs to be small enough so that uh, this is going at uh, a shallow enough angle to hit the wall. If it goes off sort of this bit steeper, it'll be sort of be parallel to ST, so it won't hit. Um, I've called the uh, the vectors u, v, and w. U is is uh, six minus eight, uh, and that and that means we know that the v. Well, the the six is going to stay the same because that's the component parallel to the plane, the wall, uh, and the uh, the minus eight becomes eight e because that's the that's perpendicular to the the wall, uh, so it'll change direction and be multiplied by e. Uh, I'm going to compare it with the vector parallel to the the st wall. Uh, because I need this uh, to be sort of shallow enough, not steep, so so it does hit the wall. Uh, six is three more than uh, three times more than two, so a e needs to be less than three times more than one. That e needs to be less than three, because if it was more than that, it would be too steep and it wouldn't hit um, s t. So the e is less than three over eight, so the full range of e is naught to three over eight, non-inclusive. Um, we need e to be more than zero. Um, then the second part, um, we've got to find is the is the is the st. We've got to find out the uh, the vector w. Uh, we know that e is a quarter of rs and st is a half. Um, that tells us what the v is. Um, the six will stay the same because that's the component parallel to the wall. The minus eight will become two uh, because it'll change direction. It's going up now rather than down, and we've caught it to get two. Now what I'm going to do uh, is write uh, this vector in, uh, in the form of um, a certain form. The the normal way, the usual way I've seen it is to is to um, get this vector, uh, take the dot product with the unit vectors perpendicular and parallel to the plane, uh, and then find out what the new vectors are after the impact. Uh, what I'm going, to, I'm going to do slightly differently though. Uh, I'm going to write this vector six two in terms of these two vectors. Um, so something times two one plus something else times one minus two uh, and, uh, and I'm going to work out what the M and the N are. Um, I can solve them simultaneously. 2M plus the N gives me six, uh, gives me what M and N are. And uh, and then I can recombine it then because the the, uh, the component parallel to the plane, which is this one, that'll stay the same. Uh, it's this one that will change. That's the one that's perpendicular perpendicular to the plane uh, it's in, sort of in this direction uh, it'll be minus a half of what it was before because the restitution is a half and it'll change direction because it's bouncing off the wall um, and then I can combine them then uh, and get that final answer this is a maths moment because uh, unfortunately I didn't think of this until uh, dog walking the day after the exam which was a bit unfortunate for my students but um, they might have just about managed it anyway so, sorry about that.